Yeshayahu, Isaiah 63. Who is this that comes from Idam with dyed garments from Batra? This that is glorious in his apparel, traveling in the greatness of his strength. I that speak in righteousness, mighty to save. Wherefore are you red in your apparel, and your garments like him that treads in the wine fat? I have trodden the winepress alone, and of the people there was none with me, for I will tread them in my anger, and trample them in my fury, and the blood shall be sprinkled upon my garments, and I will stain all my raiment, for the day of vengeance is in my heart, and the year of my redeemed is come. And I looked, and there was none to help. And I wondered that there was none to uphold. Therefore my own arm brought salvation unto me, and my fury, it upheld me. And I will tread down the people in my anger, and make them drunk in my fury, and I will bring down their strength to the earth. I will mention the loving kindnesses of Yahuwah, and the praises of Yahuwah, according to all that Yahuwah has bestowed on us, and the great goodness toward the house of Yashadael, which he has bestowed on them, according to his mercies, and according to the multitude of his loving kindnesses. For he said, Surely they are my people, children that will not lie. So he was their Savior, in all their affliction he was afflicted, and the angel of his presence saved them. In his love and in his pity he redeemed them, and he bore them, and carried them all the days of old. But they rebelled, and vexed eth his Ruach HaKodesh. Therefore he was turned to be their enemy, and he fought against them. Then he remembered the days of old, Moshe, and his people, saying, Where is he that brought them up out of the sea, with Eth the shepherd of his flock? Where is he that put Eth his Ruach HaKodesh within him, that led them by the right hand of Moshe, with his glorious arm, dividing the water before them, to make himself an everlasting name, that led them through the deep, as a horse in the wilderness, that they should not stumble, as a beast goes down into the valley, the Ruach Yahuwah caused him to rest. So did you lead your people to make yourself a glorious name. Look down from heaven, and behold, from the habitation of your holiness and of your glory, where is your zeal and your strength, the abundance of your heart and of your mercies toward me? Are they restrained? Doubtless you are our father, though Avraham be ignorant of us, and Yashadael acknowledge us not. You, O Yahuwah, are our father, our redeemer. Your name is from everlasting. O Yahuwah, why have you made us to err from your ways and hardened our heart from your ear? Return for your servants' sake, the tribes of your inheritance. The people of your holiness have possessed it but a little while. Our adversaries have trodden down your sanctuary. We are yours. You never bore rule over them. They were not called by your name.